Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Train Valley! Yes, that's right, it's time to play Train Valley once again. Something I thought I'd never get the chance to, uh, do again because I only want to show you the new stuff when it comes out. But apparently there's DLC! Yay! So, uh, the DLC is the German campaign, and there's a bunch of levels. I've, I've done them screwed up multiple times on the recording because I always made an idiot of myself. I like to talk about things eloquently while I do a let's play, and I just didn't get the chance to do that uh, this time around. I did get the majority of the new achievements that are available in this game. Uh, the one that eludes me, uh, I forget its name. I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like right now. But... Let's get right into it. Off to Ryan we go! Advanced objectives. Don't use the pause button, dispatch at least five additional trains, and bring a train to the wrong station five times. Obviously we're not gonna do all those things, but you know, I could personally... Uh, worry less about that and be more concentrated on the game itself. And I feel like I just said something stupid right there for some reason. Not entirely sure why. And I feel like this is too loud, so let's bring it down a bit. Okay, that's better. Not much has changed in terms of the game mechanics and stuff. There are some other little features like this. We got new uh, locomotives for this DLC, including this one, which I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think it's Der Adler, which means the eagle in German, unless it's Alder, which in case, in which in that case it's no wait, I think I pronounced it correctly the first time around. Uh, post-edited version of myself. Please double check this. Thank you. Anyway, back to where I was previously. So I've got some new content for you. And I have completely uh, screwed up how I wanted to do this. But you know, I don't care. No one cares. Just so long as everything stays coherent and everything makes sense, that's all that matters to me. That's all that makes me happy. That's and uh, any appreciation of the effort I put into these videos and stuff. I feel like something isn't quite right here. In Siri, not Siri, uh, Alexa is trying to, uh, say something for some inexplicable reason. But maybe we should get on with those advanced trains. Also on a tangential note, uh, I should probably get back to what I usually do in the Train Valley series, talk about personal updates. First things first. I I had some cleaning pads that I used for railway track. And these uh, cleaning pads that I used to clean up my HO scale track uh, have got... Uh, they've gotten very, very dirty, so I had to clean those up the other day. Uh, it wasn't too difficult, but it was an inconvenience. Uh, to say the least, because I didn't think I'd have to do that. And I'm sending this train to the wrong direction. What is wrong with me? But anyway, everything should be working out just fine now. Everything is, it should be. So I got that taken care of. I I have to clean up the nickel silver track I bought a while back because it seems to have collected a lot of dust. I know I had uh, exhausted uh, the pads I was using uh, for track cleaning on my ferrous metal tracks back in December, but I had to clean them back up again, otherwise I wouldn't be able to fix up my nickel silver track and make it all nice and clean again. 
The trains don't work properly when you don't uh, keep them nice and tidy. At least that's what I can tell you. And if I sound a little off, it's because... Uh, it's because I'm sick, I'll be honest. I think I caught some sort of a cold. There's a really small anticlimactic head cold that seems to be on its way out of my system. And I feel really bad because I don't like getting the sniffles and I don't get it often. But when I do... I like to make extra doubly sure that uh, I'm prepared to some degree, and obviously I did not do a good job of preparing myself. But it's no matter. So long as everything just doesn't uh, go wrong entirely, I'm sending you the wrong way. Let's turn you back around. Other personal updates. I had been watching a bunch of people play uh, Super Mario Maker for the last uh, few months or so, and I really like the kind of experience that people have. It's always positive and very receptive, and I thought I wanted to have that experience for myself. Maybe record a few Let's Plays of it if I actually had the capture software. For that, which I'm pretty sure I don't. But I can dream, you know. And I thought I was gonna get the Wii U bundle with Super Mario Maker and the Wii U uh, combined, but uh, I couldn't find it for the life of me for some inexplicable reason. And my suspicion is that uh, in 2016, it's four years. It's been four years since the release of the Wii U, and something tells me this year or next year they're going to come out with the next generation console for Nintendo, which will completely defeat the purpose of me getting the bundle in the first place. And you know that's okay with me, because uh, I'll just worry about it later. I searched high and low for the bundle that I wanted, but I really couldn't find it. The only place that would have it was Walmart, according to Nintendo's main website. And I searched high and low, and even Walmart didn't have it for some inexplicable reason. I'm not entirely sure why, they just didn't. Everything was completely sold out, and you'd think that a place like Walmart, which is basically just... What's the word I'm looking for? A place where you can basically find just about everything under the sun would never run out of the stuff it sells, but apparently that happened over at uh, uh, the Walmart I was trying out. And it's not what I really wanted to see. But then again, I really didn't want to go to Walmart in the first place. I don't want to have to pay a single penny over to... Uh, uh, to the executives over at Walmart for any reason in any fashion whatsoever. I think the last time we even tried to go there was three years ago because we didn't have much of a choice trying to find a certain type of hair dryer. And even they didn't have it there, so if they didn't have it, then nobody did. And somehow, miraculously enough, uh, my mother was able to find the hair dryer she was looking for. Even though she dragged me over there and I didn't want to go. Anyway, I should probably talk about this level because there are a few anomalies here. It's not like the other levels. Because all the gray trains, represented by this uh, little G symbol here, they're heading over to the western front to provide ammunition and weapons supplies over to the Western Front to fight the Allied Powers. Because the general theme of this level is World War I. The thing is, though, World War I hasn't started yet. It's still July 1904. So everything's just kind of getting set up uh, for the war. And the timescale of this game isn't perfect. 
as experience has told me in the past, and that's okay. The other thing that I should mention was the fact that this level also has... Uh, it has uh, fighter planes that go and bomb uh, the railway tracks. And I seem to be having a bit of an issue here. Yes, I am having a very serious issue here where I have one too many uh, trains on the track at once. And you know what, I'm just gonna have these two bump each other. Because that's the least of my concerns. Turn around! Oops. And I sent the gray train in the wrong direction. I'll just send it back. This isn't... No, this isn't working! This isn't working! Yes, this is a terribly... Uh, thought-out plan. Yep, this is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. At least I met one of the objectives, which was to pull up five trains, but I I went bankrupt. So... So, let's see. Let's see if we can actually get everything together and have history stay on its course and not make any huge errors while doing it. Any other personal updates? other than being sick. Uh, well, I was really hoping on uh, doing some other things in my spare time. Uh, the spring break's been over, I think, it was two weeks ago, I think, if not more. And I really wanted to uh, get this video out for the German DLC, but every single time I tried to record it, something stupid happened. And I would say something incoherent, like I was having some sort of, uh... I don't know what to describe it. It was like a massive brain fart. In fact, I wouldn't be too surprised if I had a brain fart right in the middle of this video as we speak. I've already made a few mistakes, but I feel like I should probably uh, go easier on myself. Maybe that'll save me the trouble of having to re-record things. But when it comes to Train Valley, I'm a little passionate about it. I want it to be right. I want it to be done professionally for some reason, because... This game is my jam, and... I feel like it needs to deserve... Or, it doesn't need to deserve. It deserves the highest respect from me. Uh, after uh, basically just getting my channel off the ground to some degree. Not as much as some other things that I've recorded have. Admittedly, there are a bunch of other things that have gotten much more views and interaction on my channel, but... I feel like everything started with Train Valley. Or everything kind of started off with Train Valley. And all the precursor uh, games related to it. Anyway, uh, another thing I should note, the Grey Trains have no monetary value whatsoever because they're going over to the war front. And I think it's kind of strange because I'm still not in the war yet, so I'm still doing a bunch of things outside of the timeline. Because if my memory's correct, World War I was from 1914 to 1918, unless I'm sorely mistaken. And I have no idea where this plane's going to decide to go, except in a general direction that I don't want it to. And I'm going to put this here, gonna put this here. Yes, this should do. I got a quiz back uh, today. It didn't come out as great as I really wanted it to. 
I guess that's the only other personal update I can give you today because nothing much has happened really. Let's see, build up and over. My train is kablooey. It's kablooey. What else is there? No, don't go that way. Bad train. Bad train. Oh dear, not again. I'm hemorrhaging funds. Mission failure! I am the real reason the Germans lost World War I. see if we can actually get everything uh, put together in a reasonable way because I've already screwed up enough Let's see plop this here there we go I have to admit that I've gotten really rusty at this game because I haven't played it in a while. I... I, I admit it. Uh, we're all not perfect. That's pretty much the gist of it. Not so fast. Okay, proceed. What else do I want to do? I'll send out some trains like this. I feel like I should have the tracks looping around. But I don't think I have the money to do that. mention when I was getting the uh oh dear I made it by some miraculous glitch there we go all according to plan All according to plan. This should make life easier. However, something tells me I'm gonna go bankrupt in the, ne the next five seconds. Or that would happen, that could also happen. back up. That should do it. Build out to here. Wow, this is actually going a lot more nicely. Yes, very, very nicely. Almost a little too nice. A little too perfect. I know he's gonna bomb that segment. I'm just gonna back up. For a little bit. Flip this over. And then I'll make my merry way. Oops. Anyway, earlier I was trying to say that I couldn't find what I was looking for. And that's okay. My suspicion is, like I said, the new console. 
is probably going to come out at some point in the future, and maybe that'll make my purchase uh, meaningless, but I'll never know for sure. I can only suspect and speculate. Saying this in the wrong direction again. Carousel configuration. And that's the level. 1918. The war has ended. Now we have to pay our debt and basically the debt from all the warring countries from World War One because that was part of the Versailles Treaty, if my memory is correct. Not a good idea to settle all the debt on Germany because they'd retaliate later. But I guess that's pretty much it for this episode. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Stay awesome. Stay true to yourself. And remember to never give up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.